before this video starts, I would like to say that I have enabled memberships on my channel. The membership perks are different for every tier. I do offer three tiers, the basic tier, super tier, and the god tier. The basic tier offers generic things like exclusive member-only videos, priority reply to comments, and a discord role that you will get when you join the server. But if you would like to purchase the super tier or the god tier, you will also get access to pay spins, which I will make personally for you and other members or server boosters in the discord coding lounge, and you will be able to copy and paste the code directly from my videos into your bot if you don't want to actually type it out. If this seems interesting for you, go ahead and click the join button next to my channel name on this video and go ahead and purchase any one of these tiers. And with that, we can go ahead and actually get started with the video. This is how you can make a report system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be multi-guild, so we will be using MongoDB for this tutorial. If you'd like to set that up, go ahead and watch the video in the description below on how to actually get started with that. So the first step is we're gonna go ahead and create a new schema. I already have it made. Uh, um, just call it rep.js, short for report. Uh, in it, you're going to need to have guild as string, channel as string. You don't need the message or the role. I don't know why I have it, but just make sure you have the guild string and channel string. You can also call this report schema. So we can start off by going to moderation and we can make report setup.js. In here, we can go ahead and define a bunch of different things. So we can do const and we'll do slash command builder. We can do embed builder. We will do permissions bit field. We can say channel type. Then we can do equals require and we'll do discord.js. Now we can go ahead and get our report schema. So we can do const report schema equals require. And in here we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas. And then we can do slash rep. Then we can come down here and do module dot exports equals. We'll open this up. We can do data. We can say new slash command builder. We will do dot set name. We can do dot set description. And we can say this sets up the report system. We can do add channel option. We can do option arrow function option dot set name. And this will be channel. We can do dot set description. And this will be the channel you want the reports to be sent to. We can do add channel types. And this will be channel type dot guild text. Then we can do dot set required. And this will be true. Then we can add a comma. Come down here. Async execute interaction. And then we can go ahead and open this up. Now we can go ahead and make a permission check. So we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has. And here we can say permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator. We will return await interaction to reply. We can say content in here. We can say you don't have perms to set this up. And then we can make this informal just like this. Next, we can do const and we'll do channel. We'll do guild ID and we can do options and then we can do equals interaction. Then we can do const embed equals new embed builder. Now we can say report schema dot find one. In here, we'll do our guild and that is going to be our guild ID. Then we can do comma async and we'll do error and data. We can go ahead and open this up. And here we can say if no data, we'll go ahead and open this up. We can say await report schema dot create and we can open this up as well. We can say guild and that will be guild ID. Then we can do channel. Now to get our channel, we're actually going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and say const channel equals options dot get channel and we'll do channel. I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to rep channel or something like that. And then for channel, we can just pass in our rep channel id just like that then we can come down here and do embed dot set color and this is going to be blue and then we can come down here and do dot set description in here we can do white check mark and then we can go ahead and say all submitted ports will be sent in and then we can just do rep channel just like that then we can say else if and data we can open this up we can do const c equals client dot channels dot cache dot git data dot channel we can do embed dot set color and this is going to be blue and then we can do dot set description and in here we'll do white check mark then we can say your reports channel has already been set to C. Then we can come out of this completely, still in the report schema dot find one, and we will return await interaction dot reply, and we can do embeds and embed it just like that. And we can move on to the report disable command. We can go ahead and actually copy all of this. We can go to moderation. In here, we can type report and then we can do disable.js, just like that. Go ahead and paste everything in here. We can change this to disable. We can do this disables the report system, just like that. 
Now we can go ahead and actually remove this channel option and we can go ahead and add a comma right here. Now you might want to change this to you don't have permission to remove reports or something like that or remove the report system, but it doesn't really matter for me. We can keep the embed here, but we're going to go ahead and delete this right here. Instead of that, we can do report schema dot delete many. In here we can do guild and we will do guild ID. We can do comma async error and data. And we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we can do embed.setColor and we will set it to blue. Then we can do dot set description. And in here, we'll do white check mark. And we can say the report system has been removed, just like that. Then we can go ahead and send this. So we can do return await interaction dot reply embeds and we can pass in our embed just like that so that's all we have to do for the report disable so now we can actually go ahead and create the report model so to do this just go to community and we can create report.js we're going to go back to the report disable we can just copy everything just like this go back to report and paste it all in here so now we can go ahead and change the name to report we can go ahead and set the description to this is a report command or something like that now i'm actually going to go ahead and remove everything in here because i do not need it i'm going to start off by getting our report schema so we can do report schema dot find one in here we can do guild and we'll do interaction dot guild dot id and then we can do comma async error and data and we can open this up in here we're going to do if no data we can go ahead and open this up return await interaction dot reply and we'll do content and we can say the report system has not been set up yet just like that and we can make this informal then we come down here and say if data we can open this up we're actually going to go ahead and create the model so we can do const model equals new model builder now to get the model builder you may need to call it up here so we can do comma model builder just like this then we can set a title so this is just going to be a report form and we can go ahead and do set custom id and i'm just going to do model so we can do const contact equals new text input builder uh just like before you may need to call it up here so we can do text input builder and then we can set a custom id and this will be contact we can do dot set required and we'll make this true we can do dot set label and we will say provide us with a form of contact just like that and then we can do set placeholder in here we can say discord is usually best just like that we can set a style so we'll set style and we'll do text input style and then we can do dot short now just like above we are going to need to require this up here so we can also do text input style just like that all right so now we're actually going to go ahead and copy this and we can go ahead and paste it down here and we're going to go ahead and change a few things so now we can do issue and we'll set the custom id to issue in here we can say what would you like to report just like that and then for the placeholder we can say a member comma server issue comma or something else just like that now we can go ahead and copy this and go ahead and paste it down here we will set this to description we we will also set this to description in here we can say describe the issue you are reporting in here we can say be as detailed as possible and we can change this to paragraph under here we can do const first action row equals new action row builder now we are going to need to require this up here as well so we can come up here and do action row builder now we can go ahead and do dot add components and for the components we will just do contact now we can go ahead and actually copy this we'll paste it down here we can change this to second action row and in here we can do issue and then we can go ahead and paste this one more time we'll do third action row and for that we can do description just like this we can do model dot add components and we will do first action row, second action row, and third action row. And we can come down here and say interaction dot show model. And we will pass in our model just like that. So that's all we have to do for the report.js file. So now we can actually go ahead and fetch the reports and send them to the channel that we set with the report setup command. We can go over to the index.js and we're going to go ahead and do const report schema equals wire and we'll do dot slash schemas and then slash rep just like that. Now we can do a client dot on event and we'll do events dot interaction create. And we can do async interaction we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to do if no interaction dot is model submit we can go ahead and just return basically that's saying if the interaction is not a model it's just going to go ahead and return we can say if interaction dot custom id equals 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 and we'll do model because that is our custom id and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and get our fields so we can do const contact equals interaction dot fields dot get text input value and we'll say contact 
we can go ahead and actually copy this because we are going to do the same thing down here. We'll change this to issue and we can get our issue. And then we can paste it one more time and this will be our description. And in here, just like before, we can get our description. So now we can go ahead and get some information. So we can do const member equals interaction.user.id. We can do const tag equals interaction.user.tag. And we can do const server equals interaction.guild.name. Now we can make our embed, so we can do const embed equals new embed builder, and we will do dot set color. In here we can do blue, we can do dot set title, and we'll do new report. We can do dot add fields. In here we will do name, and the first name is our form of contact. We can do value, and in here we'll paste in our contact, just like that. We can do inline, and that will be false. So now we can actually go ahead and copy this field. We can paste that down here. Now, instead of form of contact, the next one is going to be issue reported. And in here, we'll do issue. We can paste that one more time. We're going to replace form of contact with our description of the issue. And for that, we can pass in our description. Now we can go ahead and actually get our report schema. So we can do report schema dot find one for guild. We will do interaction dot guild ID. And we can do comma async error and data. And we can go ahead and open this up. We can say if no data, we will just return. Then we can say if data, we can open this up. We'll say const channel ID equals data dot channel. We will say const channel equals interaction dot guild dot channels dot cache dot git and we'll do channel ID. Now we can do channel dot send and we will do our embeds and we can pass in our embed that we did above. And lastly, we can do wait interaction to reply. We'll do content. And here we can say your report has been submitted. And then we can make this informal just like this. So that is all you have to do for this entire report system. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, the bot is now online. So we can go ahead and actually try this out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do slash report. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say the report system has not been set up yet. So next we can go ahead and actually set that up. So we can do slash report and then we can do setup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send this to general or something like that. It's gonna say all submitted reports will be sent in general, just like that. So that is perfect. One thing that I did forget to do is I did forget to define the client. So just go to async execute, do comma, and then you can just do client now that that issue has been fixed up we can try this one more time so report setup and we'll do general one more time and as you can see it's going to say your report channel has already been set to general so now we can actually do slash reports and we can go ahead and send this and as you can see it's going to open up the report form with all of the information that we wrote earlier so we can just go ahead and fill this out so i'm just going to do test test and test again the user will be reporting something within your server so obviously it won't look like this but we can just go ahead and click submit and as you can see it's going to say your report has been submitted and if we go over to general where we set the report channel to it's going to say new reports form of contact test and issue reported test as well if you'd like you can actually actually set a description for the description you could do reporting member and we can pass in our tag just like this and we can also pass in the member which is going to be their id so if i were to do report one more time i can just go ahead and put in whatever and go ahead and click submit as you can see if i go over here it's going to say that i'm the reporting member and my id so we can actually go ahead and try to disable this so we can do report disable and as you can see it's going to say the report system has been removed and if we try to do report it is not going to let me it's just going to say the report system has not been set up. So that's how you can make a report system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.